up. Chris attempts his greatest levitation for the world to see in the 800 degree Luxor light. The levitation for me is, is something that I've always been fascinated in. And what better way to try out my first attempt at levitation than with my mom when I was 14 years old. Comes up to me, he goes, Mom, I need you for something. And I go, what? I have to practice with you. When I think back uh, to that time, it brings a lot of memories, a lot of very fond memories. Now, I'm ready to attempt my levitation. Come in. You guys ready? We're, everything's set. Uh, chopper's up in here. Is everybody in, like, positions? Yeah. All right. All right, Hammy. I'll see you later. All I got to do is hit record and set up. Light. Thank you, Eve. There we are. Hey, Mom. You probably don't want to watch this one. So what's going to be very unique about this experience is that I'm going to be alone. It's just going to be the camera, me, and the feelings and emotions I'm going to share with you. This camera will be like my diary. Whether you're a believer or not, Chris Angel is always pushing the boundaries. and putting his life on the line. This is kind of like the first time I'm alone without a camera crew, without my crew. And this is where I'm going right here. This is it. First flight of steps. That's where we're going to. No one has ever attempted anything like this before, so it's extremely dangerous for Chris. When you're a football field and a half above terra firma, that's dangerous in and of itself. Just the smallest thing goes wrong, and that's it. That's crazy. Another big issue that we deal with all the time out here in Vegas is the wind. And sometimes it's brutal. It could be up gusts of up to 60 miles an hour. You gotta remember, this is a pyramid, and when the wind comes up the side of that pyramid, it, it intensifies and it magnifies. So now, I'm at the level where the xenon lights are producing 42.2 billion candle power. Burning rate temperature is 800 degrees, enough to fry me like that. This is really spooky because in all my demonstrations, I've always had somebody with me, usually multiple people, my brother, my family, the magic team. Everybody's outside waiting to see this. This is the final level. Here I am. Just moments away. Of either killing myself or doing what no man in the history of the world has ever accomplish for that matter even attempted <sighs> it's gonna be an amazing feat if he can pull it off and all of las vegas is going to be able to see it we're all walking on eggshells take a look at that A lot of people want to know, before I'm about to do a demonstration like this, what I'm thinking about. I got to tell you, 
I am definitely thinking about my family, about my father, about fulfilling the dream, about doing what no person would ever even consider. My family feels he does not have to continue doing these life-threatening demonstrations anymore, but yet he still does it. Mom, I know sometimes you get very upset with what I'm doing. I can't help it. It's who I am. I love you. If I fail, thank you. Thank you for giving me the support to get this far. I love you.